4K versus 8K comparison. As 4K has just begun to enter our lives, the sounds of 8K have started to increase. 8K TVs are available in the market, but what are 8K? And is it worth buying an 8K TV? What's the difference between 8K and 4K? Let's compare 4K and 8K TV together. Hi everyone, Halip Çetin. Crazy Gadget Tech here. You might think an 8K TV has twice the resolution 4K TV, but this is not true due to the complex method of measuring resolution. Term 8K refers to, to the horizontal resolution of the TV. That is how many pixels pass from left to right uh, across the screen. It has twice horizontal pixels of 8K TVs, but four times more total pixels than 4K and 16 times more than uh, 1080p when you look at the entire surface area. There are too many pixels to understand. So is 8K TV worth buying? The short answer is definitely no. 4K TV is just beginning to become widespread and affordable. In addition, even TV broadcasts are still not very large in 4K. The question is, is it worth buying a 4K TV? Even the answer to this may not, not be yes for everyone. Even in Japan, there is currently on only one broadcast channel uh, channel that broadcasts in 8K. Japan was uh, was planning to air the 20, 20 Olympics in 8K ahead, the, ahead of the pandemic. So it started plain orange technology. The biggest problem with 8K streams will, of course, be streaming. A TV channel or a video file broadcasting 8K, a device that will play 8K and a screen combination that will display 8K should come together. Considering that combinations are just starting to roll out even for 4K. Another problem for uh, 8K is the storage problem due to the size of the video size. There is also the problem of data flow for TV broadcasts. Given that Netflix, Amazon and even other streaming providers are just moving to 4K streaming, I guess uh, we'll wait a little longer for the concept of serving 8K streams. 8K TV will probably be too expensive. New TV technologies always starts out very expensive and the price drops over time. When 4K TVs were first on the market, they started with $20,000. And now we see how much uh, the price has dropped. If you will get it for today, securing the future or future compatibility are common prices when uh, talking about new television technologies. You can hear those words especially for 8K. However, it is not an easy task to predict which direction TV 
technology will take in the near future. For example, early buyers of 4K TVs were, uh, were also thought to secure the future, but most first generation 4K TV owners didn't know that HDR10 and Dolby Vision integration was about uh, to come out. To uh, those who exit early were de deprived of their abilities. Finally, don't forget to like my videos, subscribe to my channel and turn on notification bells. Thank you very much for your support. See you in the next video.